Good morning, YouTube. Tune Fabricator here once again with another card video. Today I thought I'd do something slightly different. I'm going to actually draw a bullet in 2D. Then I'm going to do a second video and show you how to develop it in a 3D. I'm basically going to be applying some of the principles that I've illustrated in earlier videos. And it's just going to be you know, reinforcing that understanding of the functions that I've used already, just a little bit more. It's not actually the model that I'm going to be drawn per se that we're bothered about, the bullet. You could apply this to anything, but it's just to give you, I guess here, a deep understanding of the functions that we've already been through. And there'll be a couple of new bits and pieces in here. So I'm going to dive straight in. So as I've just said, we're going to be drawing a bullet. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a technical drawing of the internet to actually do it. So you could apply this in real life. Say, for example, if you've got a job to do, you're being given a picture. Uh, it doesn't have to be on the internet. I'm just using the internet just to make it a little bit easier. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go to the internet. Just quick, simple Google search. You'll find yourself a technical drawing of a bullet. There's one here. What I'm going to do, I am going to right click on the image. I'm going to copy image. I'm going to go on to the drawing interface. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to clipboard and I'm going to paste and we'll paste it on there. So there you go. The picture that you found on the internet is now on your AutoCAD software. I suppose this is pretty good if there's something on the internet that you fancy designing and it saves you on to print it out and keep on looking down and stuff. But this also offers a few other benefits as well which I'll go through shortly. So for this video you're going to be in the 2D and this is down here, drafting and annotation initially. I'm going to do a part two video that will show you how to develop it in a 3D, but that will be later on. So it's the 2D view. Make sure you have a couple of layers, a reference layer. Now you want the reference layer, which you are going to be using because you're basically going to trace over the top of that. We're not actually going to be using these measurements here. Although I suppose we could, but to be honest, I think if you need to use the measurements, then you're probably not quite at this level as yet. I'm just trying to show you a different way of doing drawings. So anyway, the layer that we're using is going to be red, and that's got to be a different colour to the actual diagram that you're going to be using. Now, I'll probably do a full-on tracing video of images, which is really helpful. Let's say if you are an operator of let's say a plasma table like myself and you would like to design something on that plasma table and cut it out and there's a pitch on the internet that you want to cut out but you don't quite know how to do it then a video that I will post uh, sometime in the future will demonstrate exactly how you can do this so anyway for the purpose of this I'm going to be using my reference layer which is red completely contrasting colors to the AutoCAD desktop if you like or the interface and this image here I'm going to go to line and I'm going to start drawing the bullet so I'll go to maybe here to there to there And let me zoom in. And we'll go left a little bit, following the contours of the bullet. Click again. And again. Clicking on the points 
of the object. Like I say, it doesn't have to be a bullet. It can be absolutely anything. Click. Click. Let's have a look. Click on there. Going down. And to the centre line. There. Right click. Enter. What I'm now going to do is have a little look. See if it makes sense. I'm just going to redraw that. Copy it to there. Yeah, that'll do. Now what we're going to do, we've got a couple options. We're going to either, well, we need to get rid of this technical drawing. So we'll either move it or we could isolate it. Hide object. I don't want to isolate it. I'll put up this video. I want to move it so I've got a constant reference there. And so there you go. So what we're going to do now is just add the top of the bullet. If I just draw some sort of set line straight up. And I'll just make sure my angles are on. That gives us a nice 90 degree center line. So circle. This is going to be the bullet tip. And there you go. If you're not happy if that's not touching, all you need to do is delete that line. And there you go. So we're going to do a little bit of trimming. We're going to trim out the bits that we don't need. Down here. Trim. And we'll just do this. And we can then do that line there. So, certainly isn't perfect. But there you go. It's just an item that I've basically traced. Again, I haven't used any of the measurements. I'm just trying to show you a couple of functions of basic functions in AutoCAD 3D. So in the next video I'm going to show you how to develop a bullet or different methods you can actually develop it with. So if you like the video please hit like and subscribe. Any comments please leave down below and I think that's going to be to fabricate out. Thank you.